Literary Places by Sarah Baxter, illustrated by Amy Grimes. So you get um, introduction and then um, it's 25 places and 25 books, like in the book, 25 books connected to the places. So 25 places, 25 books. Um, so So you get Paris, and like this is basically the same setup for each one. Um, which Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, 1862. What French city of light, squalor, revolution, eclaté, and enlightenment? Um, do you hear the people sing? The angry men demanding to be heard. Once before, these um, elegant boulevards plowed through the cons. Congested slums, the city screamed with a revolution, tight packed, disease festered alleys, clogged with barricades and voices yearning for liberté, elegant, fraternite. Um, now the avenues are wide, bright, brimming with bon Um The noise is a coffee cups ch chinking on enamel uh, tabletops, breezes rattling the neat trees. These streets are our elegance and amour intricate, but once they float with blood, and then, it, <laughs> so nice introduction basically. Um, so it goes um, into like the author and about the book. So by the 1950s, when Victor Hugo was writing Les Miserables, Paris was quite literally the city of light. Around uh, 15,000 newly installed gas lights illuminated the French capital. Um, so it's ta goes um on um, and so you got like um uh, like um one two kind of like images, so um just some history about like the time period of like the book and like the at the time of the author was writing it and maybe a bit of more of a biography of the author as well so you are getting um some information um So another thing was um, in uh, talking about um, Victor Hugo and Les Mis. However, the best way to, to sense the plight of Hugo's Miserable is to descend into the sewers. For Hugo, there were another Paris under herself, a dank, foul-smelling facimum with its own streets and alleyways. It's by descending into this abyss that Valjean rescues the wounded Marius, salvation via hell. Houseman improved the sewage system, but still a visit to Musée de Escot de Paris, the Paris, the Paris sewers, Sewer Museum. But, the, but that's a time and a half. <laughs> Following the raised walkways above the effluent brings to mind and knows the Paris of Valjean. So, kind of like the bringing in the different places into the books and everything. So, um, you get like Paris, so Paris, and then you get like Dublin, Ulysses, and so on and so forth. Um, so it talks about the place, book, author, and some information. Um, it's not a long book. Um, it's a nice mix of what the book is about, about the author, and, um, bit of the city's role in the author and in the book. Um, it can be a nice jump off point if doing anything related to um, one of the books or place or places or the author um, talked out um, in the book. Um, so it does talk about a few different places around um, the world, I think. It talks about like To Kill a Mockingbird, um, so a few places 
I don't think it's like every continent, but um, so you, so you can't go um, into every single place a book has like settled itself in. But anyway, um, but yeah, if you are the type of person that wants that kind of like information, this is a great jump off point. Again, you're not going to get a whole like analogy biography of the book or the author. You're just getting an introduction, kind of like this author's type, um, like point of view of the connections and everything. So it's a nice um, book if you are wanting that kind of connection jump of point. Um, so yeah, literally literary places, happy readings.